tell you my story. I've been a busy traveling musician for quite a while. I've had the luxury and honestly the blessing of having uh, a long career in music. Back in 2018, I played approximately 123 shows. Right before that, we had had our first child. My wife and I have been married for about eight years now, and it took us a while to have a baby, but we had a baby at the end of 17. And in 18, I was on the road almost every day that first year. And for me, I think the mistake that I made for myself is that I have to provide for my family. That's my role as the dad. And uh, I wish I could take that back. It was a great year for my career, but it was awful for my wife and really for me. And so I needed to take some time in 19 to regroup, re-prioritize uh, what my life was about. So much of my identity has been wrapped up in being a songwriter, a musician. It's the way that I provide, yes, for my family, but it's also uh, extremely satisfying to write songs. But there was something that was missing for me. It was uh, the kind of satisfaction that doesn't really come from performing. Uh, and so I needed to take some time off of the road. I had a few things still scheduled, um, but I didn't take any more gigs. And uh, I went to see a therapist. I know that some people are scared of therapy. I was a little on the border um, because I've had good experiences in the past, but I knew that this time I had to get really real uh, with my therapist. And I did, and that really feels like heart surgery, open heart surgery. And there is uh, not a quick fix when it comes to going into your past. And what are the things that you are, what are the holes that you're trying to fill with your life? For me, coming off the road was really an identity, uh, an identity crisis, maybe you could call it. Um, of course, I knew who I was, and I knew who I was in Jesus, but I had really kind of forgotten what gave me worth. And so that's what I talked to uh, my therapist about. There was kind of a deep wound. My father left when I was really young, and uh, I found out that my wound was really about being good enough. And so I had to really go deep into what does it mean to be good enough. A lot of my friends would pass me scriptures that would remind me, who am I in Jesus? How did God create me? Wonderfully and um, beautifully uh, uh, made, fearfully made, he says. But still there was something I was trying to figure out about myself. Uh, now I was a dad, I'm a husband, uh, and those are roles that are really important, but who am I in Christ? You know, there's a song that I used to hear Chris Tomlin sing, um, More Than Enough, that God is more than enough. All of you is more than enough for all of me, for every thirst and every need. You satisfy me with your love, and all I have in you is more than enough. That word enough was really the finger on the wound for me. For whatever reason, I've really never felt like I was enough. But God is really the only, the only thing, the only person in Jesus, the only spirit that can speak to me and tell me who I am, that he qualifies me as enough. And what is it about enough that uh, that God can tell me I'm enough. Well, it's His love. His love is what tells me that I'm enough. I've spent some time in Colossians recently uh, reading about how deep and how wide His love is for me. And I still feel very undeserving of that love. Obviously, I'm a flawed human being, but the fact that He calls me His son, uh, that He sees me as the apple of His eye, I'm still getting used to that, frankly. Uh, so in that time of coming off the road, trying to figure out who I was, what my identity was, I thought about who he thought, who he says that I am. 
uh, I had a, a gig, or well, not really a gig, a, a write. I was supposed to write for another artist. And uh, I, I showed up for the write, feeling deeply unqualified to be there. And uh, I had to step out for a moment and recalibrate. Um, I went to the coffee machine and I thought, you know what? I don't know what I have to offer today, but I'm here. And sometimes that's all we have. You know, we, we leave our, our homes in whatever state that we're in on our way to work. And we don't have a lot to offer, but I think there's a lot to be said for just showing up and being there. And I think that's really where we allow God to move and to work. And that's exactly what happened that day. He put this word uh, into my, my head. Uh, I, I started with, well, I am here. I am loved. And then I thought, okay, well, a good chorus has at least three strong lines in it. I am here, I am loved, God is good. And that is enough. And so I went back into the room and uh, my two other co-writers were talking. I was like, I got, I got our song. We got to write it right now. And we wrote it. Uh, I wrote it for the other artists in the room, but it was so much my own feeling and my own uh, story that I felt like it was my song. And so luckily I got to record it and I'm gonna share it with you now. <laughs> 